Uh, hey everybody, it's Madri Bread. Um, Legends Arceus just came out today, and I just booted it for the first time. I hope the volume is okay. <laughs> uh, so there's no there's no webcam and chat on screen right now, just because I haven't played the game. I don't know what would be covered up if I put it somewhere. Um, so maybe we'll add a webcam and a chat later once I've seen a bit more of the gameplay. We'll see. I'm excited, though, because there was a bunch of leaks, and I have not kept up with the leaks at all. All I know is that Brandon told me that it looks really awesome, and a few people have played it this morning and told me that it looks really awesome. Welcome to my realm located beyond both time and space. Is this Arceus speaking to us? It is well <laughs> that thou art here. Oh, no. <laughs> The only person who can avoid leaks? Oh, it's because I'm too busy doing Pokemon challenges to actually, like, see information on leaks. <laughs> I am that which humans call Arceus. Uh, why does he have to talk like this? <laughs> I wish to know thine appearance. Ooh. Oh, I pick what I look like. Uh... Sure. This guy... What is thy name? I'm sure I can change, like, haircut later. <laughs> oh, I, I get to just straight up pick with this menu. Okay, 12 characters. I think we're just going MDB then. Let's go, uh, how do I shift? I shift like that. M-D-B. There we go. That'll work. Sure. MDB. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures <laughs> that humans call Pokemon. Do MDF and B? I should have done MDF and B, shouldn't I? Big League MDB? Yeah. MDB. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Oh, so if you catch them all, you find the Arceus. Probably. <laughs> that or it's at the end of the plot or something. I don't know. I don't know anything about the game. I know it's like open world. I know people are comparing it to Breath of the Wild, of which I have also not played. <laughs> oh no, my phone! So, okay. I was gonna say our character must be 10 because it's Pokemon, but I forgot that's like, that hasn't been the rule in Pokemon for like 20 years. Um, oh, is that Arceus? Are we seeing him already? Yeah, you joined for some Shakespeare today, <laughs> Cosmo Cat. Oh, I wish chat was on screen for this so that the audience at home on the Y-Tube could enjoy all of your memes. I do like the logo. Something about that green that I really like. Well, that was easy to find, Arceus. You just had to drop your phone. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> wake up. Oh, Jesus. Do wake up, don't you? See, usually I wake up uh, because there is a Sabu claw in my foot. Because <laughs> my cats. Music sounds very Breath of the Wild. I actually don't hear it very much yet. Are you alive, my boy? Oh, okay. Okay. It's... <laughs> what is this hat? For a second, I thought the Pokemon were talking to me, but it's this man, but... What's with him? You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that, but thank goodness you seem unharmed. Yeah, thank God we landed on the... sand. Sorry, what's in the top left? Is that Mount Doom from... <laughs> Ocarina of Time? What is that? <laughs> uh, who are you? Where am I? God, we are like unblink oh no we blinked it's okay never mind <laughs> who are you i'd like to ask you the same i mean you fell out of the sky you understand come on who f who in the world does that clothing is unusual wouldn't happen to be an acquaintance in these parts would you have an acquaintance in these parts i doubt it i don't i guess i don't know is the legit answer because i don't know where we are it's Mount Coronet. Also, this game is very expressive. 
I'm not sure how to interpret that, but does this take place in... Sorry, Sinnoh was Gen 4, right? I have a hard time with the names of the locations, right? Uh, right, because Unova was 5 and Hoenn was 3. Might I offer some directions? Do you have anywhere you could stay? I don't know. I'm sorry. The faces are very emotive. Oh. See, I don't know how emotive they are in the most recent few games because I've barely played them. A proper pickle indeed. This is not a proper pickle. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I don't know what to do. I think that's a fair answer from a child. Is this a sucked into the computer game kind of deal? Someone in the chat there said. Yeah, maybe. Maybe this is Digimon. Is this the new Digimon game? Man, I was surfing on the web and I wiped out. <laughs> Someone made a video in YouTube that you were streaming. I don't know how to interpret that message. <laughs> I forgot! I just so happened to have these three starters lined up in a row beside me! <laughs> what a coincidence! Right when you fell out of the sky! It's almost as if they knew you'd appear! Maybe they were sent by Arceus himself. Do you even know what a Pokémon is? Of course I know what a Pokémon is. God, what do you take me for? Oh, I'm seeing people say take the Rowlet. I don't know which one to take. I'm not a huge starter guy. I gotta say the owl is adorable. Is The owl is Rowlet, right? Sorry, that one's a bit new for my blood. I know that the one on the right is Oshawott, who's kind of cool. Cyndaquil's really cool. I love his happy eye. You know, the closed happy eye arch thing. I love that. Mysterious creatures that they are. And yes, what might your name be? Ah, so you're called MDB. I did not open my mouth. When are you gonna tell me your name? Okay, there we go. Lavit- Laventon? Laventon. Laventon, perhaps? I've never actually seen that word before. I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon, these three here. Oh, oh. Oh, you should have gave me one of them faster. My darling Pokemon, why must you run from me again? Again? Alright, I think this is a you problem. Could you help me round them out? I beg you, child I just met who plummeted from the sky onto the beach. Once again, uh, adults in this world do not know how to delegate. Um. Wow. I see what they mean about this already being so different, you know? You know, I had a few people tweet me today saying that the game looked like visually really bad and the graphics were terrible. And frankly, I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> this looks pretty nice to me. What? Maybe it's because I have an upscaler? I don't know. It... Sky doesn't look natural? Well, it doesn't need to. <laughs> Nothing looks real here. This doesn't look like a... This is not actually how humans look, you know? Looks like an anime character. Looks like a Pokemon character from the Pokemon games, you know? It's just the art style. Uh, save your progress. Yeah, sure. Is there auto-saving this? Chat, can you let me know? Also, it's looking like mayhaps it's safe if I put the chat on screen in the top right. Top right's looking like a safe area to me. I'm gonna just drag that on over and put that on the screen right about there. And we'll just see if that works out for us. The sky is too saturated for my tastes, but I like everything else. Yeah, I, I do think there might be a bit of a saturation issue on our legs, actually. We should play the game, though. <laughs> Can I go in here? Not yet. Oh, press the stick in to dash? Oh, you only need to tap it once, though. That's not bad. As long as you don't need to hold it in, because that sucks. A glowing, bleeping object over the- Oh, is that a Pokédex? Is that what they look like now? You 
think I'm <laughs> I think I'm going blind from the legs. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's just because of where we are. We're on like a bright beach. I don't know. Or it could be my upscaler. I don't know if it messes with the color at all. Don't know why it would, but. Is change shape. It's probably your phone. Oh, so someone put a new case on my phone is what you're saying. Rate the trees out of sword and shield trees. I haven't played Sword and Shield since like a month after it came out, to be honest. I got too busy. God's gonna give you a DM. Uh, okay. Um, game controls. Oh, uh, settings. Sorry, I'm an old now, um, 29. And so when I play, a oh, fast tech speed by default. They know what I need. Motion sensitivity. Oh, can you do like gyro controls with this game? If you're like going on mobile? Auto save enable, that's cool. HUD toggling. I wonder why that's disabled by default. Hmm. Loudest and quietest sounds. Narrow dynamic range or wide? Well, I'm not wearing a headset right now, so let's keep it narrow. I really like how the environment looks so far. It, <laughs> I don't know why it makes me think of KOTOR 1, because it doesn't look like KOTOR 1. Just something about this area makes me think of an area in KOTOR 1. Sorry, I just realized like half of the people here are mostly into Pokemon games and probably have no idea what KOTOR is. Knights of the Old Republic. It's an old Star Wars PC game that was really good. Goes on sale a lot on Steam if you ever want to check it out. Like Dantooine. See, it reminded someone else of Dantooine too. Right, so I saw a little bit of footage that um, you catch Pokemon like literally not battling them. You're like throwing Pokeballs in the wild at them. I saw just the tiniest bit of footage of that this morning from John Stone and it looked cool. The one is Rowlet. I really want a Rowlet. I'm not going to lie. Of these three starters, Rowlet's adorable. <laughs> Photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. But it looks so soft. Kind of weird that there's no texture of, like, its feathers on it, you know? That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irate. Or when he's just having a big cute stretch. <laughs> You can battle to catch. Sometimes you have to. Usually only if you get caught sneaking. Thank you. KOTOR remake. Oh yeah, there's one of those coming out. Oshawott naps while floating in the water, and it can battle using its shell-like object on its belly. Oh, is that how it uses its razor shell? Is that the name of the move? It's been used on me in Gen 5, but I don't think I've ever used it. Here you are, my boy, Pokeballs. Oh, I got an email from Papa Nintendo this morning uh, giving me a key for 30 Heavy Balls. Now, all I did was purchase the video game. I didn't even pre-order. I bought it this morning. Wow, 50. So I don't think this was some kind of pre-order bonus. Did everybody get that email? Uh, but I, ha I haven't, like, booted the game before this stream, so I haven't done anything. They're basically Ultra Balls, I'm sure. Okay. Yes, yes, we all know what the Pokeballs are. Is this Pokeball looks different. Are we, like, in the past or something? It just looks older, you know? Like, the yellowed, bronzing kind of stuff on it makes it look old. Although, if this was in the past, I guess it wouldn't be yellowed from age, would it? It would be yellowed from age now. Well, we make new Pokeballs, though. Whatever, this whole line of questioning is stupid. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Pokeballs are a recent invention. You oh, this is the past. This is totally the past. Right, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. A hundred years past. Someone else said two hundred years. Oh, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> it's a long time ago. <laughs> 
So is he supposed to look like a Pokemon version of like a Victorian era scientist? Yeah, he does have a real lack of skill, doesn't he? Throwing Pokeballs. Pokemon be can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down ZR. Oh, God. Uh, ZR is R2, I think, on my controller. Sorry, I'm using a 8-bit uh, Do Pro 2. It's like um, a SNES replica controller, but it's kind of like half SNES, half PlayStation 3, 2. You know, it it's a good controller. It's comfy. Uh, ready, Pokeballs take aim. So I hold down that to take aim. Use the right stick to adjust your aim, your angle and aim carefully. That might be good with gyro controls, actually. Release the ZR button to throw the Pokeball. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you've readied a Pokeball and you don't want to throw it, B to cancel. Got it. Ha! Okay. Well, I see all three. Now, I want the Rowlet. I gotta say, that Rowlet's looking adorable. Now, I'm guessing um, I don't want to, like, sprint directly into it or something. Actually, you know what? This is, like, a tutorial, right? So it's probably not actually that hard. How far can I throw this thing? Like, I don't know what the... Is there, like, an arc to it? Or does it home on? Like, can I just... Hey, how about you stop walking? Okay, well, that was fairly easy. The rumble felt pretty cool, too. Oh, <laughs> I like the little the little fireworks there. That's great. Seems you have quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, MTP. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Oh, do I need to catch all of them? Ah, I gotta catch all of them for him. Okay, this is just a tutorial, then. I do love that I have 50 tries. Hey, has anyone in the chat tried missing all of these Pokeballs yet and seeing what happens? Does he just give you more? It arcs, and if it lands nearby... Oh, it hits if it lands nearby. It doesn't need to hit directly. Good to know. One more. Yeah, I get it. Where is he? Okay, I can be pretty willy-nilly with this, it seems. <laughs> Why don't you try? Man, no one wants to watch me miss 50 times. I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another try, good old boy. He just... It's okay, he hasn't caught on. Yay! <laughs> hey, why don't modern... He looks so sad, didn't work. I know, right? Um, why don't modern Pokeballs set off fireworks whenever they catch a Pokemon? That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they won't listen to any- uh, As I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. I must say, MDB, I was taken aback by how well you used Pokeballs. How is it that you cut, catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? I think it's safe to say we were a trainer in modern day Pokemon and we've time traveled. I like how we don't even like look up at him. You'd think in a game where we're a child and so there are going to be many people taller than us, they would think to make the character look up a little. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? <gasps> Guided by Arceus himself, I'm the Chosen One. Should have named my character Jeff Jarrett. Proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Not many people have figured out how to throw a ball yet. No, it just hasn't been invented. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. The goal is to seek out every Pokemon. And mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork. Don't you agree, 
child that I'm forcing into this? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? You've convinced me. Sure, sounds like a fun time. Whoever and from whenever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokédex to complete, all right? We're in it together. We landed on the beach. Uh, we don't know what's going on. We told him we don't know how to survive. We caught three Pokeballs. Three Pokeballs. We caught three Pokemon, and he's decided uh, that uh, we are going to catch every Pokemon in the world together now. You know what? Is it all that different from the beginning of any other Pokemon game? <laughs> Professors just put a lot of faith in children in this world. It seems like uh, in the past it was the same way. Man, he's got to work on his posture. The the professor, not the kid. The kid's fine. Is that the Team Galactic symbol on the professor's pocket? I didn't see. Maybe, maybe Team, maybe Team Galactic used to be good guys. Uh, is that their symbol? I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> it's kind of blurry. This young man was a, of great asset to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. Gentle nod, no dialogue. Oh, <laughs> wait, this is a hundred years in the past, right? Damn, technology and style of housing changed a lot over the last 100 years of Pokemon, didn't it? You're telling me that 100 years in the past of modern day Pokemon games, it was like feudal Japan? It's so weird, but hey, isn't the professor wearing like... A modern... Whoa. Hold on. No, 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 no. I'm not following you. Do you see that lady sweeping in the low frame rate? Is she a flat picture? I know I'm probably seeing this on a lot bigger of a monitor than a lot of you, but the lady sweeping there straight up looks like a sprite. She looks like it, it could be like a gif from like... Harvest Moon 64. That's the game I'm thinking of. Harvest Moon 64. Why does that make me think of Harvest Moon 64? It's gotta be for someone else, right? Someone in the chat's gonna be with me. Right, sorry, uh, Le Leviton? He's wearing a suit. Like a European-style suit. Under that coat, isn't he? I, I only got a glimpse before. I gotta look at it again. We're not supposed to be talking to strangers, you know. What's up with the professor? Oh, botheration. I almost forgot. All right, now you're not even trying. Okay, no, not qu not a quite a European suit. He's got a, a furry vest? I think it's a furry vest. It's based on Hokkaido, so the feudal look actually makes a bit of sense. Oh, okay, yeah, that actually does make a bit of sense, because there would be a lot of really old buildings still around in Hokkaido. Just past this bridge here, and then to the left, that's Wallflower, it's called. Back when I lived in Hamilton, I used to live in an old Victorian-era house. It had been renovated a few times, obviously. Um, but it still had a lot of relics of being, like, a 150-year-old house or whatever. It's It was crazy. Use the button to view the map on your arc phone. Wow, this is, like, straight up, like, an RPG village map with shops and everything. That's cool. Something about that screen makes me think of, like, I don't know, Dragon Quest or something? Like, there's a whole little village to go through? That's fun. That's really cool. You'll see guidance markers when you're out exploring or running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around in all the directions and try and spot one of these markers, then head for it. Okay, just explaining what a waypoint is, I guess. Oh, you can buy this shirt in Pokemon X? That's cool. 
Man, so many first time viewers. I hope you guys are having fun. I'm having fun. We're still like really early in the game. I'm trying to take it slow. Galaxy Hall. Oh, yeah, I guess it is Team Galaxy then. Maybe this is before they were um evil? I mean, they're like Pokemon thieves. Better head to wall. Okay, okay. I'm not allowed to really explore, explore the village. Probably once I do a little more tutorial stuff. That looks pretty cool. Hey, look at that. You think that's an intentional reference that the, the smokestack there looks kind of like the Galarin Weezing? Do Galarin Weezings exist here in Hokkaido? I, I say Hokkaido. I, I'm sure it's not actually called Hokkaido. Sorry, where I'm supposed to go is right behind me. You. What is your style, dude? What's with the... the green mustache? Are you awfully suspicious? I love that sad face. He looks so taken aback. Okay, so this guy has green hair except for like... Just his little goatee part is, like, gray. That's a crazy look. Galar does actually exist. Alo uh, Aloa. Aloa? Is that how it's pronounced? Also, but those regions, those are the only regions that 100% exist. Okay, so those are the only ones we know for sure have been vi visited. I don't even know what to think, because in the Pokemon world, there's a lot of vagueness about the history. And I'm no lore master. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. Are you my rival? What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced me out there in these flimsy clothes. You would be too, lady. The guard let you through. He must have ties someone in the village. Oh, do guards just not let strangers in here? <laughs> is is uh does pokemon have a history of isolationism just like actual historical japan because there was like a couple hundred years of japan where they just didn't let any foreigners in is this supposed to be like during that time period or was there never a period like that in pokemon history because I know it's not literally Japan in Pokemon. It's like a lot of areas are allegories to Japan or whatever. Based on... I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thunder. So I had to take to my bed. You got struck by Thunder. Oh, Thunder Shock. Okay, not as bad, not as bad. I can see you surviving that. I misread that and thought it was just Thunder. It's like, nah, you, you, you're dead. <laughs> Professor! Yeah, you came out of nowhere, dude. Everything will be quite all right now. MDB here has agreed to help us with our Pokédex. Uh, <laughs> that, that disappointed look that she gave us then him. Yeah, okay, I see what you guys mean about this game being very expressive. I like it. You plan to appoint him to the Survey Corp? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain... How do I say that? Celine? Captain Celine's permission? I'm gonna guess Celine. And if I got it wrong, everyone will yell at me. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, you're a bad guy. Hmm, Galactic Team Survey Corp, you can call me Celine. Captain not Cyrus? Damn, he does look like Cyrus, though, doesn't he? You think this is Cyrus's great-grandfather? You said a hundred years in the past, right? Is it like a hundred years before uh, Diamond and Pearl? Selene? She, not he? It's she? Dude, how can you tell in these games? <laughs> You look to be 15 or so, quite old enough, to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origin.
A most reasonable decision, Captain. Now I'm sure you could join us for a meal. Yeah. You won't though, will you? Yeah, of course you didn't, because you're not friendly. I appreciate my meals without distraction. Nah, I couldn't do it. I gotta watch my wrestling while I eat. <laughs> when else am I gonna f find time to watch my wrestling? The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then. Nice pile of food? What is that? He said something about potato, right? Sorry, I was reading the chat a little. <laughs> you know of that great hole in the sky? The one people call the space-time rift? I could watch wrestling while I grind? Yeah, but like, I, I watch it with Fatima, so... She's not gonna be hanging out next to me while I'm doing work grinding, you know? Uh, the one people call the space-time rift. The new friend fell right out of it. Oh, are people talking about this space-time rift? Are more people falling through? Hmm, you know it'd be a twist? If one of the, um... If one of the Team Galactic people are from the future Team Galactic, but they fell through the rift too, and they're trying to make Team Galactic evil earlier. You could do something cool with that. I only concern myself with facts. Here in the Haisui region? I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that's a Japanese word, uh, a language that I do not know. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. I kind of just want like a screen cap of this. His u in. He sus e. All right. He sui. He su e. Okay. Five people in a row just wrote down phoneticals on how to say that name, and none of them were the same. <laughs> All right, all right, it's up to interpretation, got it. <laughs> Who knows what wonderful things they could do? Thundershock, Thunderbolt, maybe even Thunder. Well, new Flash Fresh episode, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. <laughs> Nobody in the Galaxy Team is capable of a feat such as that. Galaxy Team, weren't they Team Galactic in in the new ones? Maybe they changed their name. Or maybe is a group that splinters off into like a good guy group and an evil group. You know, like uh, Gen 5. Except for like the other way around. Okay, so it's it's uncommon to even catch a Pokemon. Got it. Oh yeah, uh, if a funny happens, make a clip. I, uh, I always forget to tell people that clips are a thing. If you make a funny clip, and I get a bunch of funny clips, saves me a lot of time on editing. I, I could make a funny and put it on YouTube, and then uh, people would ha-ha, and then they would click on the stream and, and uh, have more funnies with the rest of us. <laughs> Your captain just ordered 10 whole portions of potato mochi, you know? The slow progress on that Pokédex of yours clearly has her on edge. Stress eaten. Have your fail, MDB. Man, I was about to say, you know, you're going to need more than just potato. You need some protein, too. And then I remembered that I had potato for breakfast, and I forgot to have my protein powder. <laughs> I even talked to Fatima about how I needed that before the stream, and I just totally forgot to, to throw that together. At least I have my coffee. Do you remember that MDB has a trial to pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you? 
Sorry, it's core, not corpse. I just... English. <laughs> you can live on just potato. Yeah, you can live on just potato. It doesn't mean you should. <laughs> MDB was it? For tonight, at least we will provide you a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Thank you. If you fail to pass the trial we put you through tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. Hmm. I guess they're just trying to put over it that this is a bit of a harsher world than we're used to in Pokemon. Enough falling for one day. Yep, we're just gonna get left alone now, I guess. Rift in the sky, people falling from it, the world is full of mysteries. Okay, head to the Survey Corps quarters you've been assigned to. I probably can't do other things yet, considering... Yeah, it's got, like, these dots instead of icon icons, you know? Yeah, I probably just need to continue with the plot a little. I like how I just know that's my door. Ooh, that looks kind of cozy. See, I've never been to Japan, so I've never been in um, a home quite like this. I'm sorry, there's rocks on the floor. Hmm. Someone needs to sweep. Chest looks like you could store lots and lots of items in it. Good to know. So there's item storage. Keep the room heated. Jug for storing drinking water has a lid on top to keep debris from falling in. <laughs> Uh, the game felt the need to explain to us what a lid is for. <laughs> That's a little weird. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carrying out your survey work in the <laughs> region. To read them at any time, simply press the up button to open the menu and then go to the help screen. Y you mean like up on my D-pad? Or... I think. Saving your progress. So, chat, um, how often does this game actually autosave? Is it like every time you go through a doorway or something? Okay, so it is up on that that does it. Okay, survey tips. Okay, so this is just a catalog of all the tutorial messages I've gone through in case I want to reread anything. The trailer says Hisoe. Really? A dresser is very solid construction. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Our five principles. Behave with courtesy to others. Superiors are owed your respect. Likes and dislikes are a luxury ill afforded. Those who are weak must be helped. Weaker must be helped. Hey! Hey! Didn't the leader of this place say that I could just go out and die if I don't pass my trial together? Or tomorrow, even though if I don't pass my trial, that just means I'm weaker? All right. Difficulties must be faced head on. Fair. Full length mirror. My mirror is defective or I'm a vampire. Nah, it's just defective. I don't see shit in that. Lovely stones that someone must have found, but they're just plain old stones. Why are there lids on those jars? Is it to keep debris from falling in? <laughs> Can I look at that? Paper lantern. Okay. Rest until tomorrow morning? Yeah, sure. The house is also a vampire. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow, that rumble. Is there going to be a forest fire that I'm waking up to? Or did someone else drop from the sky? The next day! 
Good morning, MDB. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Wait, so you acknowledge that that's lightning, but Pokemon still calls it thunder. Okay. <laughs> I always thought that was funny. Thundershock, Thunderbolt, and Thunder. Thunder is the noise, not the electricity. The electricity is the lightning. But they still call it thunder and stuff. I, I was guess I guess that they did that originally because, you know, bad English. But they're calling that in Pokemon lightning. Weird. I guess it's just a misnomer in the Pokemon world itself. Maybe that's the canon of it. Imagine Thunder being a normal type sand based move. Yeah, you could probably do something cool with that. Uh, Hisui is the name of the region before uh, it was proper settled and it was named Sinnoh from what I've been able to gather. Okay. Okay, so this is old Sinnoh. I mean, we do see Mount Coronet. Hope you had a nice sleep, even if the land is strange and new to you. Time to go face my trial. Don't know what life was before this. Wonder if my character has like family he misses. Longtime subscriber on YT, first time on Stria. Yeah, I don't I don't stream tons anymore. Uh, I want to stream way more. I'm gonna be streaming way more. You should all follow, because I'm gonna stream more. I swear, I promise, pro I promise, and I would never break a promise. <laughs> Don't give up, keep those eyes open. A wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent to my partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack, outnumbered. This is what happens when you go off so, so far afield, but the medical corps will put you to rights. That sounds negative. The man with the security core, and even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. I really appreciate that they gave us facial expressions because like in some of the old games, you just have a big dumb vacant smile through the tensest of situations and it was kind of silly. Now, it fits as this person always has the same expression, because then when they do look startled by something, it's going to mean more. Let's get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galactic Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Jinx. Oh man, I don't know if I can do it. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the galaxy team has ever managed that. <laughs> Her face in the shot is wonderful. Have Prime sub. Thank you. I appreciate Prime sub. Thank you. Thank you for all the other subs you've been giving me, everybody. I'm very, very bad about seeing the notifications. <laughs> Wait, have the notifications been on stream this whole time? And I just can't see them? Probably. Uh, Queenus Weenus in the chat. I gotta VIP you. I haven't VIPed you yet. VIP? There we go. Queenus Weenus in the chat. There is my wife. She just got affiliate recently. She just started, uh, unable to add VIP. Why? Uh, okay, I'll VIP you later. I don't know why that didn't work. Whatever. Anyway, she just got affiliate. She's been streaming. She's gonna stream some Civilization uh, later. I don't know if it'll be like right after my stream or like sometime in the future. Who knows? Everyone just go click her and follow her. I love the Abra just ominously floating in the corner, by the way. Oh, hi, Steffi. That satchel doesn't exactly match your uh, mode of dress. <laughs> it looks kind of dumb on me, doesn't it? Over top of the t-shirt like that. 
Kind of makes the t-shirt flare out like a dress. Press the Y button while consulting the map on your ARC phone, and you can check the types of tasks you have waiting. There's two um, types, missions and requests. Missions will be completed in order to progress in your adventure, while requests are optional given by people you meet. Okay, so missions are main story quests, requests are, are side quests. Got it. Pardon MDB, come with me a moment. So sorry, the professor does work for Galactic Team, right? Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter? Yeah. In order to complete our Pokédex and we'll survive this unforgiving land, MDB absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokémon, I got just the ticket to help accomplish that. You were telling me yesterday you have no idea anything ever, and that you suck at everything and you can't catch anything. I don't trust you. Oh, look, it's all the, the work I did yesterday. Do I have permission to use one of them? Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. I did all the work of catching all three of these for you. And it was my first time ever holding a Pokeball. Mmm. <sighs> now, they're all wonderful in their own way. In most days of the week, I think I would go Cyndaquil, because I really do like me a Cyndaquil, but Rowlet's adorable. Yeah, I'll have Rowlet. Oh, it's adorable little walk <laughs> with its little owl feet. Oh, they can make an animation of me looking down to look at the Rowlet, but not looking up to look at adults. They just have to do tricks of the camera like this, where it kind of looks like we're at eye level, but in reality, I'm like looking at the middle button on his shirt. <laughs> These old Pokeballs look so weird with like the padlock. Keep, uh, which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain Pokemon when you're out in the field? Is that a thing you can mix up? They're cheering on their friend Rowlet. Oh yeah, they're such close friends. You know, from that one time they were in a field together. More of a latch? Oh, is it a latch? Is it like a mason jar? <laughs> What species are you trying to cut? Oh, it was Shinx Bidoof and something, right? Shinx Bidoof and Starly? Yay! Do I still have the 50 I was given earlier? Or the 46, I think? Because I think I just missed one. Turn left after you exit the headquarters, then head for the gate. Okay, I can do that. Uh, Bidoof, Starly, Shinx, in that uh, is the order, I believe. Oh, I have to do it in that order? Sorry, what does that do? Oh, whoa! Whoa, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> uh, if you hold uh, ZL, you can look through your eyeballs. <laughs> FPS mode. Why is it not a toggle, though? Oh, you're a main character. I can tell because there's hair over your eye. Volo of the Ginkgo Guild. Go to choice for any of your mercantile needs. Oh, because this is the Merchant's Guild. Got it. This is your Antonio Pirelli. The Master Merchant. No one in the chat's going to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Enable HUD toggling. Way better. Oh, should I? I saw there was an option for it. See how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle. Sure. Hey, Leela. Uh, I can't play the game till I get off work. I don't want to be spoiled, uh, but I want to say hi and good luck. Thank you. I appreciate that. I hope they're not working you too hard. Which I know that they are. <laughs> I 
let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you know, you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Yeah, dude. I know what talk is guy from Fallout 3, am I right? Sorry, I legit don't know what you're talking about. Ooh. This is already so different. Okay, A to fight. I can tell him to gust. Can I just, like, stand right in the way? I actually get hit! <laughs> That's great! I'm sure there'll be, like, a point to running around maneuvering but that there isn't much of a point in the tutorial fight, probably. What does that battle system make me think of? Nino Kuni? So I didn't play Nino Kuni, um, but I did watch a Let's Play in which they played like the first few hours of the first Nino Kuni, and the battling looked a little like that. I'm sure it doesn't actually play the same or anything, it's just visually I'm reminded of it. It's always good fun to have your Pokémon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Yep. Sometimes Pokémon learn new moves as they level up. Right, I think Brandon told me that you don't forget moves anymore. If you want to change the moves your Pokémon can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokémon you want, and change the moves options. Man, that would have been so nice in so many of my challenges. Battle system reminds me of Digimon World when it gets going later on. Hmm, which Digimon game? Um, sorry, you say Digimon World, but I think there's a lot of games called Digimon World that all play a little different. <laughs> I was gonna wait and see reviews of people I trust, but I caved. It's understandable. It really does seem like people are pretty happy with the game so far. But then again, the game's only been out for a little bit, so... You know, I'm sure nobody has really played till the end of the game to really know how it scales. I'm enjoying the tutorial stuff so far. I'm taking it a little slow. It's casual. I'm hanging out with you guys. So, you know, I haven't really gotten to the meat and potatoes of the game yet, but so far it feels very different. Are there any new brand new Pokemon in this? I don't think I've heard of there being any new Pokemon in this. I feel like that's the kind of thing I would have heard if there were any. Plus, it wouldn't really make sense to have new Pokemon in this, would it? Um, because this is in the past, and why would the Pokemon not be around in a hundred years? It's not that long a stretch of time. Damn, our mode's already played nine or ten hours. I guess time zones it probably came out earlier for you, didn't it? Or did it launch at the same time for everyone? I don't know. They went extinct. In the last 100 years, something went extinct? How much went extinct? <laughs> Jinx? Jinx can't have gone extinct. In 100 years, Jinx exists. It's in the Elite Four. <laughs> you can catch it. Icy Path. You got it a day early. That's sweet. Okay. Okay. You're MDB, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside of the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. <laughs> Yo, pro tip, kid. Don't die. <laughs> okay, Obsidian, Obsidian Fieldlands. That's where they said I need to go. Oh, Jinx, because we said the same thing. Damn, not the Pokemon. Okay, you can see why I'd be confused, though. <laughs> This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the- <laughs> Yeah, this is- this looks so super safe, dude. You just have, like, unattended food cooking. What's going on? Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Well, you see, 
got a hold of me after you left. She's uh, impressed upon me that I must bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. Oh, so if I die, it's his fault, which I do feel like he deserves some of the blame in that. <laughs> I don't intend to lift a finger. I appreciate that he has uh, faith in me. It would be real nice if he said he'd back me up if shit goes down. Aerodactyl went extinct? Yeah, but did it go in extinct in the 100 years between this game and, uh, and, uh, you know, like the modern games? Because if so... If it went extinct that recently, why do we have fossils of it? Doesn't the fossilization process take a long ass time? I say that, you know, it's Pokemon. I guess the rules could just be different. Crafting, a workbench. Man, every game has crafting now, doesn't it? Potion, I like how the potions look. Okay, I think I just want to get out there. Oh, nope, got to do another talking to the mandatory person. Man, we need a new shirt. I like that they put in the effort, though, of having the belt thing we have with the satchel actually, like, press the shirt in so it kind of muffin tops out over a little bit, you know, like a shirt actually would. That's attention to detail. It's cool. Eighteen animals that went extinct in the last century. Do we have fossils of all those eighteen animals? That's what I'm talking about. Tasmanian tiger is the one you knew about. Yeah, I know stuff still go, goes extinct, but do we have fossils of those? I was fairly sure that like that requires to be buried for a long ass time. I'm not a I'm not a fossil pilot though, so I don't know. Hold the ZL button to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep it in your sights as long as it's nearby. This technique comes in very useful when aiming Pokeballs at a target or when dodging Pokemon attacks. So ZL keeps me like locked onto the target. Like um, Zelda locking onto a target style. There's a cute new Voltorb who's grass and electric type and is all very happy, becomes angry and unstable with human influence. Oh. Also, you were thinking Digimon World DS. Oh, I don't know. I don't know the DS one. Hi, I'm guessing I just need to walk up to you. Oh. Oh, so the first person mode button does that so I can lock on. Man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to come back alive. Fossils have to be at least 10,000 years old. Oh, see, there's the problem. I knew something wasn't working out there. But right, back to what Sho was saying there. Grass and uh, electric Voltorb, that sounds really cool. I love variants of Pokemon. I think that's such a cool idea. I love that the newer games have been doing that. Are you sure you know where you I just want to check out what this plant is. It looks like a thing. God. There's a Starly. It'll run if startled. Get close. If you crouch, you'll be harder to spot. B button to crouch. Same button to rise. If you creep into tall grass while crouch low, you'll be even harder to detect. Okay. All right, we're in stealth mode. Can we, nope. I don't know what I need to actually do to, like, when am I allowed to do that, you know? Do I need to get close now or? No, I just wait until it does that and then I automatically get it. Okay, so I don't actually need to run up to it. Good to know, I thought I did. <laughs> 